Hi there, it's Nathan at Flipping Out Slingshots. I wanted to show you some slingshots we just finished up today. Uh, some of these slingshots and colors are going to become a standard uh, color in my line. So over here we've got some Omegas. All of these are heading down to the land down under to Australia. But this is uh, the Spectraply in Bumblebee with an antique heart pine palm swell. This, uh, the pine actually came from the timbers that made the original Sears and Roebuck warehouse in Chicago, Illinois. They tore it down. Uh, I was able to locate a couple of those. Then we've got a, a really beautiful, this is a multiplex as well, but it's uh, dyed. It's an onyx color. And uh, this is also Spectraply, but it's just got an extra depth of color. Uh, this is the Omega, and it's got a purple heart palm swell. I'll be offering that one as well. Then a uh, step over here, we've got our nice simple basic Baltic birch. This is a peerless with a curly cherry palm swell which will be a standard on the uh, Baltic birch models. And then a material I'm really excited about is a, a new product that's very similar to diamond wood. It's a phenolic resin impregnated uh, birch plywood. And uh, the colors are just spectacular. And um, I'll have these in several colors uh, so we can see through here. Uh, this is an Axiom and the color is marble wood for the main body. But the palm swell is also this uh, phenolic impregnated wood and this color is called chili pepper really attractive. I'm using it a lot for accent pieces. We come on down here. Um, this is another Axiom here with a Cocobolo palm swell. So um, tropical woods and uh, natural colors mate really well with this uh, phenolic impregnated material. Then here's a beautiful color. This is a chalice and uh, the main body of this one is uh, called a floral pattern which is made up of blues, greens, reds, and um, various other shades um, in that spectrum and the palm swell is also the chili pepper color really attractive slingshot and one thing that's really nice about this new material is this heft it is a quite a heavy material and I will have some numbers for you on the difference here's an Omega with a beautiful Bubinga palm swell so it's a really nice juxtaposition of the natural curls of the Bubinga with the straight lines of that uh, laminate and then here's a color that's probably my most favorite so far um, this one's called Rocky Mountain Camo and um, it is just gorgeous and I've done a little palm swell of marble wood on it but this is the chalice design by Dayhacker great design it'll be in my line from now on then I've got a couple of customs here this one is uh, just spectacular this is a great shooter this is a natural sumac fork that I have split in half put a lemon of black cherry into the middle of it and uh, this is a superb shooter um, it can be held either right or left handed but it's a very nice fork support grip has a brass line lanyard hole. Have here just a nice custom Omega. Uh, the outside of this wood is spalted maple, really spectacular spalted maple. You get lots of coloration in there. And the core of it is a lace wood with spacers of black walnut. And the palm swell is a red cedar accent stripe with a rosewood palm swell. So again, just another beautiful slingshot. And then a great natural. This is an absolute spectacular natural. Um, this is a dogwood fork. So um, you got the natural strength of dogwood. It's a nearly perfect fork. It's uh, two and three quarters inches, pushing three inches inside the forks. It has uh, got ebony tips. There's a really nice uh, sample of spalting here on this fork. It's still 100% strong. There's some discoloration as it grew. It is pinned with brass. Down here we've got a multiple laminate of uh, Shetawa, Micarta, Rosewood, and the cap of it is Buffalo Horn. So a spectacular slingshot. It shoots just as good as it looks and of course it's got a brass line lanyard hold as well. But all of these will be up on the website and uh, several new colors are coming. Oh and I almost forgot to mention this one. This is a great design that Dayhiker came out with. Uh, we haven't come up with a name of it yet, but um, this is in a uh, Spectraply with some uh, very beautiful uh, Rocky Mountain Camo Palm Swell. It's a great shooter. It'll also be in my line here shortly. Uh, maybe you guys can help me come up with a name for it. But thanks for looking, and uh, talk to you soon.